Onwards and outwards. Also, we're level 26 now. Got some grinding done during the last podcast. That's a great time to grind. It's like, oh, we're just podcasting, having a nice discussion. Let's randomly murder stuff. So I ran around in this field and killed everything, like, seven times or something. I don't know. I wasn't paying very close attention, so I actually don't know how many times I'd cleared it. I thought I smelled someone pondering. What's on your mind, Lafayette? I know Siegfried comes from another continent and all, but do you know anything else about it, Ropero? Nope, can't say I do. All I care about are swords. That contraption doesn't interest me much. I suppose that makes sense. But it looked real powerful. Just guessing based on how we saw Zavid use it, I'd say it amplifies his power somehow. An amplifier. It's true that he seemed to get stronger when he fired it at himself. Yeah, and it gave that dying legendary wyvern enough strength to escape. But wasn't it also what he used to dispel Melchior's illusions back there? That was also amplification. The Malachim are the source of his arts. The relic pushed them past their limits and... kablooey. Suffice it to say, it can be used both offensively and defensively. It must be very hard to master. More important is what the Abbey plans to do with it. Not that I really care. Um, Laffy said? May I ask you something? What is it? The girl with the umbrella from Lord Melchior's illusion. What is her connection to Aizen? I don't think he'd answer if I asked him myself. I don't know. I was wondering about her as well. She was pretty, wasn't she? Oh, so you like a girl who's cute, but with a bit of sophistication. Really? I thought his type was more like Vel- Ah! Uh, shh! What's going on? We were discussing a delicate topic. Muffy said's first crush, if you must know. Oh. No, we weren't. We were just talking about the Umbrella Girl from the Illusion. The Umbrella Girl. That illusion made Aizen hesitate. She must be really important to him. Indeed. It must be a deep, naughty relationship. Come on, now. Like, a wife he wants to leave, but he can never let go. Or a lover from whom he can't move on. No, that's too wild. And she's too young. Yeah, it's not that. What's more likely for a self-serving pirate is... A daughter from a woman who only knows him by a fake name. Perhaps one whom he cast aside, or who cast him aside! And maybe she was somebody he couldn't marry for some reason. But when she died, he raised her daughter for her. He had been friends with her since they were children. But they only realized their true feelings after they had been married to someone else! Is this their idea of romance? In any case, beware of girls, Luffy said. Right. Holy crap. So much drama over a character that's it's just it's just his sister. Ed, Edna's just her sis, his sister from the from uh, Zestiria. I wonder if Edna's currently a demon. Somebody was saying that the wyvern that uh, Aizen saved might have been uh, Layla from the last game. Which is strange to think about, but sure. Anyone could be any demon technically from the last between the two games. Do we? No, we do not. And that's something I'm just gonna have to live with. Oh, returning to the Van Eltia. That's not super close by, is it? Uh, we're almost at Defense of Nog, I guess, which is a name I can't get past of how silly it sounds. <laughs> no new surprise code reds around here. Oh, missed one. But they were about to—they're about to hit me, I think. Escape. Okay, we're back at the port. Looks like there's someone over here, too. Hey, kid. Now what are we gonna do? What's wrong? This dog came up with a book in its mouth. Here, take a look. Huh. It looks pretty old. I've never seen this kind of writing before. It's not ancient Avarost, that's for sure. Part of it looks like a chronology. So maybe it's a history book? If I were to guess, I'd say they're Meliodasian characters, which would peg it at about 2,000 years old. It's more recent than Avarost, but the writing has fallen completely out of use. All kinds of notes are written throughout the book, too. Someone must have been studying it. If it's research material, that might make it Videl's book. Videl? Who's that? 
He's a weird kid who's way into studying history. He lives at the inn. Could you maybe deliver the book to him for us? We were told not to get too close to him, so... Yeah, sure. I guess. If you get too close to, De to Videl, you get the leprosy. My book! My book! Where could I have left it? Are you Videl? Is this yours? My book! Oh, that book is super important to me! Thank you! Uh... I'm Lafayette. I hope you don't mind that we flipped through some of it. Can you actually read Melio Dossian's script? You recognize Melio Dossian writing? That's unusual in this day and age. Oh, it's not that big of a deal, really. When I grow up, I want to be an adventurer who travels the world and explores lots of ruins. So to make sure I'm ready for anything, I've been studying ancient history, starting with the Era of Darkness. The Era of Darkness? You're referring to the Dark Period, right? Right. Almost no written records from the age have survived. But if you compare the history before and after, you can tell something major must have happened. Wow, that's fascinating. I know! Look at those two, all worked up over an old book. My little brother was just like that too. Luffy and our brother used to. We received reports of suspicious persons in the area. Have you seen anything? Not good. They're on to us. Quickly, hide in my house. Videl, have you seen anyone suspicious recently? Sorry, sir. I've been absorbed in my book. That's all right. Thanks. Look, I know it must be tough living alone with your mom. Just remember, your father's a praetor. He's out there fighting to protect us all. Keep your chin up for his sake at least, all right? Uh-huh. Thanks for your help, Videl. Videl, your father is an exorcist? Yeah, he is. But don't worry, I won't say anything about you and your friends. I'm your friend too! Really? And to prove it, I'll let everyone in on a big secret. This book tells you how to make an Omega Elixir, an incredibly ancient and powerful medicine. If I'm reading it right, you need five ingredients in order to create the elixir. I've only translated one of them so far, but I'll tell you what it is. That's really nice of you, Videl. But I don't have any way to repay you for this. Oh, please, think nothing of it. I'd just like it if you came and talked with me again sometime. Of course. What are friends for? The Omega Elixir. That's an ancient medicine said to be able to cure any disease. But it was my understanding that no samples or recipes survived the Era of Darkness. Meliodasian's script was used prior to the Era of Darkness, so I guess it's possible that Videl's recipe might be legit. He's just a kid. I don't know how much we can trust his translation. You saw his notes. I doubt many adults could even get anything out of that book. He might be onto something. Kids are more capable than we give them credit for, especially where their interests lie. I think we can trust Fidel. Laffy used to read books intently like that, too. Furthermore, couldn't a hypothetical Omega Elixir be quite useful to you, Velvet? Laffy said, you look like you really want to track down those ingredients. Yeah, I do. Personally, I don't really care. But if you want to look for them, I won't stop you. Okay. We have one recipe. Well, one page of a recipe. Not a ton to go on yet. I assume it'll come up later if we... Maybe if we revisit him at previous... At later times, repeatedly, or something. Uh, otherwise, we're going back to the Van Eltia. 
And grab what it can along the way. This car, I'm surprised they, oh. Well, I think I know where this is going. I, I was gonna say, I'm surprised they haven't seen me multiple times now because I keep walking past them just in the open. Have you seen anyone suspicious running around in the open that looks really striking with really obvious clothes? Nah, no one like that. Are we doing this? Oh, never mind. I thought we were doing this. This big storm came and swept me out to a class four island. And let me tell you, it's as bad as the rumors make it sound. I wanted to just wait it out in a shipyard somewhere, but then the water turned all gooey. Then I had these jellyfish things coming onto the deck, and before I knew it, slugs were swimming around in the damn ocean. Wouldn't the salt in seawater mess up a slug? Yeah, that's what I thought too, but these weren't no sea slugs neither. It was scary, I'll tell you that much. You want my advice? Stay the hell away from that island altogether. But if you do go, watch out for that gooey stuff. What did that pirate mean by class four? I've never heard of that. It's a classification the Abbey uses to help inform their strategy, an estimation of how well they've been able to manage the demon outbreak in an area. Administrative zone classes 1 through 3 have been assigned a suitable contingent of exorcists to guarantee the population's safety. So... Class 4 administrative zones are ones that are still unsafe? In a perfect world, the entire kingdom would be protected, but there's just not enough manpower to go around. The Abbey doesn't send exorcists to remote areas in far-off islands. Instead, they avoid casualties by making those areas off-limits. But that pirate mentioned he'd come close to an island. Are those policies actually enforced? They send out an official notice to stay away, and that's all. It's not like they could blockade every tiny remote island out there. So you're free to dive into the deep end if you want. But no one will come to your rescue. Hope you know how to swim. If they could keep the demons in check, they wouldn't have to tell people to stay clear. Frankly, I think the Abbey just doesn't want to go near places like that. In other words, these are dangerous places that the Abbey has washed their hands of. Makes you wonder how much they can administrate these places when they're not willing to get their hands dirty. Are there many Class IV administrative zones? I've heard of ten such regions in my time working as an inspector for the Abbey, but I'm afraid I couldn't tell you their exact locations or their current status. If the Abbey abandoned this island, it's probably safe to assume that it's getting to be pretty dangerous. If we go there, we're gonna want to be prepared. If you can survive in a place like that, it sounds like a great place to hide out from the Abbey. Escape their line of escape their line of sight long enough to get nice and powerful to take down Artorius. Demons! There's more of them. A whole band of them rampaging through Warg Forest. There was already one dangerous demon in those woods, and now we have more, and they're still on the loose! A lot of exorcists have come to deal with them, but... What do these demons look like? That's what I want to know. Those Abbey people won't tell us nothing. Every time a demon comes around, it's all, show us your cargo this, and don't leave poor for a while that. How are we supposed to catch any fish? These demons really are a pain in the neck. If I was an exorcist, I'd lay down some justice, I tell ya. At the end of the day, it's not the demons or the exorcists that have it rough. It's us normal folk. Anyway, you guys should be careful. There are demons about. Thanks for the warning. Confusing a little bit. So they're not compl they're not complaining about code red demons, or they're not specifying human demons, and they're not they're like humanoid demons. They're not really specifying anything. They're just like, oh no, demons, but. Aren't there non-stop demons every single time I go outside of every single town in the entire game? Like, how is there any any slight emergency now? The demons are everywhere all the time. And people, I thought I assume people are just used to that, since they're just a non-stop sh uh, shower of them. And that's we're supposed to think those ones don't count. First mate, you're all right. Sorry to worry you. And the captain? It turned out to be a fake. But now I know the real one's still alive somewhere. Well, of course he is. Not that he has a lot of time left. What do you mean? Calm down. I'll explain later. Aizen! Y you stay calm too, okay? <laughs> and you've all taken your salatoma? Yes, sir. And nobody died? 
All still kicking. Compared to your curse, sir, the sickness was tiny potatoes. All right. Then let's get ready to sail out. Already done, sir. We're ready whenever. <laughs> <sighs> the Pirate's Creed, huh? There's worse out there. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> it's funny because your curse kills people. Ha 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 ha. The crew is back and meaner than ever. To your salt we sail. Oh, there we go. We can also go to class four, zone aberrant quarter. That's a hell of a name. That's not even an, wait. That's not even an isolated island, is it? It's just in the middle of the continent next to all the other places we're already at. Huh. I thought class four zones were gonna, were gonna be separate islands. That's dangerous. You salt it is. It's too bad that wasn't the real I freed. But I'm glad everyone on the ship is feeling better. Yeah. Though it sounds like they never want to touch that Salatoma stuff ever again. <laughs> what about Eleanor? She took it too. And her face went all wow. I don't mean how she looked. I mean how she actually feels. Oh. Well, she looks like she feels better too. Good. You're worried about her, aren't you, Velvet? No. It's nothing like that. Let me tell you something, kiddo. When young maidens ripen, they have trouble expressing their feelings. So Velvet's... ripen? Mogilu! Quit giving Loppy set confusing thoughts. <laughs> no trouble expressing those feelings, I see. The Abbey is supposed to exist to bring peace and order to the world. Everything the Abbey does, everything Lord Melchior and Shepherd Artorius do, it ought to be rooted in that mission. And yet, something just doesn't feel right here. You are dismissed. That knowledge is not for you. <sighs> something wrong? Whoa! Easy there. Just asking. S sorry I was just deep in thought. Is there something you need from me? Nah. Just heard a bunch of sighs and wondered if you were feeling sick or anything. No, I drank my Salatoma juice. Ah. Tasted like crap, didn't it? It... it wasn't that bad. Hey. What? Are you afraid of demons? No, I, I am not. It's more like I despise them. Ten years ago, a group of them attacked my village. They destroyed everything. And everyone. Including your family? Yes. The only family I had at that point was my mother. And in all the chaos, she... All I have left of her is this hand mirror she gave me. I didn't want anyone else to have to feel the way I did. And so I became an exorcist in order to destroy demons. So you can keep your pity. Gotcha. I will then. called a pangyon, a type of bird native to this area. Pangyon. Their meat is succulent and tender, and makes a lovely stew. Wow, what's it taste like? You'd eat that poor thing? Savage. 
You're one to talk, demon. It was one of my mother's specialties. All right, enough of the chit-chat. Magilu, what's this grimoire friend of yours like? Hmm, well, how do I put it? <sighs> oh... You know, like that. Like what? Oh, well, to put it in a way those of meager imagination can understand, Grim's got a sort of listless, aristocratic air about her. A noble woman in her twilight, you could say. Huh. So you mean, like, a woman, but different from Velvet and Eleanor. <laughs> You're not wrong there. I tell you what, just keep an eye out for a grown woman. A uh, grown woman? Okay, I got it. Well, since we got her name, we could start by asking around. Exactly. Now you're talking. <sighs> What's up, kiddo? Moggy Lou, you're a grown woman yourself. So why is it you have trouble clearly expressing your real feelings? Good question. Put simply, a long time ago, mine broke. Pagow! Chapoom! Bye-bye! Your feelings broke? Come on. Let's question the townsfolk. Whoa, therapy episode. Okay. So we get back we get background on Eleanor, which makes me immediately think that once we we get that little bit, bit of backstory and we see the the pen whatever it's called, uh which I think leads to us thinking this is probably her home island then. And so we're probably going to have some ba some background from her as we probably go by her home village or the, the wreckage thereof somewhere around here. And we're finding out that perhaps, uh, Maki Lu's got some damages that she works out. She's probably aloof and finicky and weird all the time because she doesn't want to be genuine. Because genuine is how she gets hurt. Also, we have a lot of- we, we also have another weird, uh, thing that's parallel to real life creatures, but it's like a wacky, colorful, crazy nonsense version. Which is more or less par for the course. What's down here? I see ya. Ain't hide nothing for me. We got, we got the first piece of a five-part recipe, which may or may not be optional content. Not sure what to think about that yet. There we go. This is a this place looks like a change of pace. Also, Rokuro continues to be uh, comically aloof, almost adorably so. It's funny because uh, Moggy Lou tries to pretend to be aloof, but actually she's got her own concerns, and she's it's mostly putting on an act. Whereas Rokuro, outside of his uh, outside of his uh, rivalry situation, I think he just genuinely is aloof. So it's like you're like stow your stow your pity, and I'm like, all right, cool. And he's, he's not doing it sarcastically or bitterly. He's just like, haha, yeah, sure, whatever. Guess what? Don't ever actually care about anything. Woo. I want to hit things with a sword. He's distractible. I forgot what that symbol means. I also apparently forgot what button to press. Icon guide. What is the purple one? Oh, it's a tavern. Which I guess is different from an inn. Mechanically. Hello. So how do you like our island? Nice and laid back, right? It's quite a bit different from Logris. This place was even more relaxed before the opening. But recently, a lot of our young folk have gone starry-eyed about the city, and left us in the lurch. It's still better than it was when the demons first started showing up. We have the Abbey to thank for that. And because people are traveling more now, the need for ships has skyrocketed. Our lumber industry is booming. In other words, when the money started flowing, people let it go to their heads? That, and those exorcists and soldiers from the bigger cities, they really seemed sophisticated. People from the other islands wear different clothes and have things we don't, you know? Getting worked up and worked over by what's trendy. Is that foolishness not the very definition of youth? If this keeps up, our island's traditions will fade away. 
That's what worries me. I understand how you feel, but you have to give young people the freedom to be themselves. Yeah, wait for them to get older before you, f you give them the repression that is thinking that you have to... Anything matters. And ha having to succumb to all of the things that people expect of you. The crushing defeat of adulthood can wait. Some folks up north criticize the people of South Gan for eating Pengyan. And sa I'm South Gan, born and raised, but I see where they're coming from. After all, up north, they eat rap, uh, rapig. Now that- th that's just downright cruel. I'm just gonna not try again at pronouncing that one. What do you got over here? I'm taking all your stuff, damn it! You can't keep it from me. Oh wow, I can keep going up. Also this thing, we're all the way up to level 8 now. Whoa! I got a level up, but I- is a, is a triple failure where I got no rewards, but I got a, uh, got a level out of it. So we're level 9 and we're exploring a level 8 zone. I don't show it because there's just nothing going on. Just every now and then a new recipe gets added to my repertoire. Or a cosmetic item I'll never use. Because the cosmetic items suck. Look, it's Sore. And it's Lloyd. That's it. The cosmetic items you get from sailing are tiny Tails characters you put on your body. I'm like, that's... I'm not using any of those. Nope. Wait, can I jump down from there? No. Just trying to keep an eye out. I don't see any shop icons. They must be downstairs. Can I even go inside this one? Nope. Nothing hidden back here. It does say there's one chest waiting for me somewhere. It seems like Japanese games associate uh, circular buildings with with a beach property. I wonder whether if there's an origin for that. Oh, that, that's how you leave town. Is this place important? Aha! Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Repent? Are you talking to me? Yes! When I look at your vestments around your chest, your hips, I can tell your sins are many and deep. Say that again. Exactly what were you staring at? Well, mankind is rife with sin, and I am no different. You must acknowledge your misdeeds and confess them to the great Empyreans. By confronting your sinful urges, you will be empowered to resist them. Is that so? You're saying I just need to confess all the bad things I've done? Yes. Confess your darkest sins, my child, assured that none is beyond the forgiveness of the Empyreans. Empyreans, hear my confession. When I was in prison, I instigated a riot and used it to break myself out. Huh? Then I set fire to some warehouses in town and stole a ship to make my getaway. Then I teamed up with some pirates to destroy a military fortress. I killed anyone who got in my way. What? What do you think, father? Will the Empyreans forgive me? I... Uh, uh, I think you should turn yourself into the Abbey and let them help you repent. That's convenient. I'm already planning on going to the Abbey. You see... I'm going to kill their boss, Artorius. I, I need an exorcist over here! Quick! Somebody! Anybody! <laughs> That's... about how I figured it'd go. That's a funny exchange, but you're gonna get yourself into some some actual trouble there. Uh, aren't we trying to avoid detection? Also, it's still, there's still an excla exclamation point. Come, sinner, and- Are you talking to me, perchance? I am. You look so deeply sinful, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Now confess! Oh, how long have I waited to bear my soul to someone? But I've always lacked the courage. Praise be to the Empyreans who have bestowed upon me this chance today! Ah, your devotion to the Empyreans is most... No! It is you who has captured my devotion, my darling! There's no one else I want but you! What? M me 
But uh, my life is in service to the Empyreans. I... Hush! I want you to look at me the way I look at you. Hold me, darling! Smother me in your embrace! Uh, I don't... I... I... Those were the kind of lines I read in a romance novel. It wasn't even that exciting a book. I wasted so many hours with that piece of trash. Please forgive me for not putting myself to better use. Ah! Lying! To a priest! How could you? Oh no, I meant to confess my sins, but instead my confession was another sin! Forgive me, Father, I've transgressed once more. I don't want to forgive you! Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Who? Me? I don't think I've done much that needs repenting. No, my son. You must be mistaken. For I can tell just from how you dress that a great many sins weigh heavily upon your heart. But it's not too late for you yet. You must confess your sins and repent. Yeah, I hear you, but I really can't think of anything. Have you ever wielded violence? No. All I wield are my swords. Well, have you hurt anybody with your swords? Yeah, but I haven't been able to land a killing blow yet. I've still got a long way to go. But the next time, I'll kill him. Uh, no, no, you have it all wrong. You must repent for how you've used your swords. Oh, I get it. I need to improve my cutting technique, right? That's not what I meant either. Ah, then what do you mean? It's a priest's job to guide the layman, right? You'll have to start speaking more clearly if you want anyone to trust your advice. Get your act together, man. Y yes. I'll reflect upon the error of my ways. Wait, what?